evening it's tuesday evening hopefully you can hear me my microphone is okay it was indicating that it was and uh, i'm just gonna keep chatting and saying hi until everybody drops on i don't know what sort of week you've had hi bad it's only tuesday and it feels like it's the end of the week hi Ange. nice to see you my most dedicated fan um yeah, it's only Tuesday. Sorry, the dog's just going to start whining because why wouldn't he when I've just started a live? Um, I'm going to be really honest with you. This is the most disorganized I've been so far for these live sessions. Um, and it's just because I've been working all day and all day yesterday filming. Hi, Jet. <laughs> Auntie Ange is on here. That's why he's whining. I said, Auntie Ange. Um, yeah, I've been filming content for my... Hi, Sarah, I couldn't tag you tonight for some reason. So uh, please do remember, considering your water issues. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly disorganised tonight just because I've been doing so much work. Oh, my goodness, Jet, stop it. <laughs> do you know... Uh, listen, I'm going to be really honest with you. Do you know why the dog's whining? Because Becca and her boyfriend have just come in and they've got a Chinese and they've gone straight upstairs with it and he can't get access to the food. So he's very distressed at the moment. Um, so that's why the dog's whining. Anyway, um, yeah, I've had a really busy week filming content for the website, which I'd been putting off and coming up with reasons why I couldn't do that. Um, and in actual fact, they were just ridiculous reasons. So, um, I've just got on and done it. Um, so tonight, I'm going to be doing some interesting stuff that has come from all of that filming and all that work. Um, and from a little incident I had at the weekend where I did film on my um, group. And for the, for the next five minutes, we're going to have the backdrop of Jet going, woo, 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 because he can't access the Chinese. So just bear with it. Uh, sorry about the noise. <laughs> My water issues are not of the body kind. <laughs> Sarah, sorry, yeah, I should have made that clear, shouldn't I? Leaking water through ceilings, nowhere else. So tonight's episode, episode six, I'm halfway there to the launch of my new website and my um, book, which is really exciting and totally nerve wracking. Um, I'm feeling a bit, not only disorganized tonight, but a little bit full of pain tonight i've had a, a because i've worked so much the last couple of days and i'm suffering from a pain perspective so i'm normal like the rest of you I don't always have fantastic days um but anyway i am here i have shown up and i'm going to talk to you about some really great stuff hopefully some really great stuff so tonight so for those of you that don't know i'm mandy and i am a coach author and an artist and i am doing this series of 12 episodes in the countdown to the launch of my new website which contains my signature program the glowing aura mindset makeover which is amazing i have to say even if i say it myself you've got to be your own best cheerleader haven't you um and the launch of my book which hopefully will be published on time if i get my finger out and actually get around to doing that with amazon this week and tonight's episode and i misrepresented last week i said that tonight's episode was about um planning for the next six months and i was wrong because this week is about how to be open to every opportunity that shows up without feeling overwhelmed and accepting that things will take time. So next week we'll be doing planning for the next six months. But I just this week really needed to work on breaking down some of the misconceptions um, and misunderstandings and issues that we cause, almost cause ourselves by allowing ourselves to be led by others. So on Sunday, I had a little rant on my group so you might not have all seen that if you're not actually on the group and if you're not on the group then join the group uh, because they get lots of things first so it's it's worth actually joining the group now 10 years ago when i hit my rock bottom when i was at that place that i felt like my rock bottom that we've covered over the last few weeks and i've covered forgiveness and gratitude and mindset um and 
financial issues and how to live within your means and, and lots of changes in me over this period of 10 years from where I hit or perceived to hit my rock bottom. Um, but one of the things that I said to myself when I was there was I was going to be open to every opportunity that shows up because only then could I make a judgment as to whether that was going to work for me or not. Now, in doing that, you open yourself up to all sorts and you've got to do it in a really well thought out way. And what I mean by that is, if you say yes to everything, there are lots of people going to benefit from you doing that. And they're going to benefit because they're going to try and sell you something, a product or a service. Um, and you've got to say, if you're going to be open to everything, you've got to do it in a restrictive way. And when I say restrictive, I mean, you've got to trust your own judgment and not f allow yourself to feel overwhelmed. Now, Sarah and I discussed this briefly at the weekend in that um, Sarah thought that felt at the minute like Facebook was shouting at her to, to, to buy this, do this, do it this way, do it my way. And I've seen that over the last few weeks. There is an awful lot available right now on social media, on all platforms, not just social media, pretty much everywhere. And we're coming up for Christmas. So there's like double effort. Hi, Sarah. I'm just saying hello to Sarah there, who's just joined. Uh, and lots of Sarahs. We've got three now. I'll just say generally hello to Sarah. And I've covered half of the people that are on here. Um, yeah, so... We're being bombarded a bit at the moment with go on my workshop, buy my course, do this method, do this coaching method, think about this, think about that, do it my way, do it this way. Goodness me, Jet, you really want that Chinese, don't you? For those of you that have not been here from the start, my dog's absolutely desperate to get his teeth out on somebody else's Chinese that's not in the room. So one of the things that um, I kind of had a little rant about on Sunday was lots of buzzwords that are being banded about at the moment. And I'm going to cover, well, I'm going to cover them all in detail. I'm just going to talk generically about the buzzwords that you're probably seeing lots of on social media and other platforms at the moment. Things like self-care, mindset. And, that, you know, I've used mindset, but I was using mindset before mindset was a thing. Um Limiting beliefs, reframing, a vision, a visualization, goal setting, affirmations, meditation. You must do all of these things if you are ever going to progress. And they all have their place. But their place is a place of complexity. Um, a lot of people that are using... <laughs> oh, my sister's just said my poor starving fur baby. If you could see the dog, you would see that he wasn't starving. He's... Um, definitely not in need of a Chinese. So yeah, these all of these buzzwords that are being bombarded into social media at the minute. Now what I'm going to say is potentially going to piss some people off because what's happening is people are latching on to other people's content. Just putting it out there. Yeah, so somebody's doing a course or they're doing some study or some learning and they're copying and pasting the content and trying to sell it as their own. And let me tell you now, when you do that, you are not selling something that's coming from you. You're not selling something that is coming from what you know, what you really, really know. You're selling something that you've as, as belongs to somebody else. Mindset and limiting beliefs and reframing and goal setting and vision and visualization all come from a real core um, coaching methodology. All right, neuro linguistic programming and life coaching and confidence coaching and leadership coaching and psychology. All of these buzzwords that are being banded about at the minute come from some real deep, complex methods methodologies and unless you have studied them and studied them in detail you can't put them into context it's all very well talking about mindset and telling people to change their mindset but if you don't really understand all the other things that bolt into that and you're not giving them the real core information that they need to be able to change properly in what 
it is they want to change in. And it's very, very difficult then to get really positive results with the people that you're working with. And these people may make a bit of money for a bit of time, but it's not sustainable because they'll be caught out fraudulently. Um, not fraudulent. Yes, fraudulently. They'll be caught out because they won't be able to give you the help that you need. So I use affirmations. Okay, I, I have worked on my mindset. But do you know what mindset is? And do you know what affirmations are? And do you know what self-care is? Which I call self-investment, by the way, not self-care. It's all about thought. Our thoughts are what we are made up of and what sends us into action. We are made up of nothing more than thoughts. They come and they go. Okay, we get tens of thousands of thoughts every single day, right? And how you categorize that and how you, you learn to manage those thoughts is mindset and is overcoming limiting beliefs and it is reframing and it's a complex process it's not something you can do in a five minute or an hour long um, video I wouldn't even dream of trying to teach you that on this half hour because I would be being disrespectful to what how powerful the real core methods of those tools are okay you can understand mindset and you can understand what all of these other buzzwords are by seeing people's posts and reading them, you can get an idea. But to really get to grips with it, you really need to be working with someone who knows or be finding out for yourself in whatever method that you choose to do. But to take it at top level really does make you feel overwhelmed because if someone's telling you you've got to work on your mindset and you've got to do affirmations and you've got to change your limiting beliefs and you've got to reframe your thoughts and you've got to meditate and visualize and set goals and have a vision. Goodness me, that's a lot of work. It sounds like a lot of work. And I'm going to tell you now, that is a lot of work. It's a real big job to work on all of those things. So I thought of a really, really good analogy today to link that to, and I can't remember it now. If I don't write it down and put it right at the top of my pad to speak to you about, it's gone. It might come back to me before the end, and I hope it does, because I thought, that's really good, that. Actually, it's just come back to me. So, um, yeah, all of these different things that you need to learn, and you could, you could associate it and make an analogy out of anything, but I was thinking today when I was thinking about it, it's like learning to drive, okay? Some people learn to drive and they only do 10 lessons and then they pass the test because they really get it, it comes easy to them and they really understand it. It still takes time to do that because 10 lessons is 10 weeks and then your test, it still takes three or four months to do that, to pass your test. Some people need 30 lessons and then they may fail their theory and have to sit it three times before they can then sit their practical and it might take them a year to actually learn that thing that is called driving yeah and then just because they've passed the test doesn't mean they're a great driver because they're going to learn throughout the life and they're going to learn by having incidents on the road they may have some big lessons where they crash the car and learn a big lesson uh, about how to drive properly or how to avoid incidents so life's the same and you're Learning to control, not control because you can't control your thoughts, learning to manage your thoughts and make them work well for you is like driving a car because we are made up of our subconscious, our conscious and our superconscious. Um, and I'm not going to give you too much detail because it's in the program, but we are made up of different things and different levels that create the thoughts that come like waves and ebb and flow throughout the day. But those thoughts are what send us into action. And if you know how to have a positive mindset, which means managing your thoughts in a positive way and reframing old traumas or old incidents, which is about creating the right mindset, it's all interlinked, but it sits in a very complex area. So what I want to do is I want you to forgive yourself and I want you to give yourself a pat on the back on the back for not getting sucked into absolutely everything that's out there at the moment because there's so much. 
some people some of you must feel really confused about what to do for the best what to do next do you know what i'm going to say to you and i thought i've made this up i do this you know i wing it on a daily basis and i've made this up today i came up with a little analogy called talk and it's really good to talk whether you're talking by talking to your friends or talking to your network and saying how do you feel at the minute how is it making you feel do you feel overwhelmed but in in this analogy of talk and i i use the four letters talk i said first of all is the t and the t for talk is to trust yourself and trust your gut because do you know what you have everything within you everything you need and all the resources that you need to be able to give yourself the best possible chance in life you already know you know this sometimes you need somebody to gently hold your hand and take you through a little journey so that they can help you to bring out what you already know is the right thing to do so that's the tea for talk trust your gut we all have gut feelings and if something doesn't feel right don't do it only do the things that feel right for you and don't be pulled in 16 different directions thinking you need to know everything immediately because you really don't. There's time. You don't need to know how to learn to drive tomorrow. You need to know how to learn to drive. And if that takes you three months, six months, nine months or a year, does it matter as long as you learn to drive properly and you're a safe driver on the road? So it's the same for any other learning that you do, learning to manage your thoughts in a more positive way. I've just noticed that you can see a naked lady behind me. That's my new painting. Sorry, got distracted then. Um, so the second, when I've said talk, the T is for trust your gut. The A is for action. Take it. Take action, but take the right action. Um, and again, I might upset people a little bit here, but we hide we find ourselves because we're overwhelmed and i'm not saying everybody don't want to offend anybody in particular um but we've all done it from time to time i'm sure um hiding behind the overwhelm by saying it do you know what it doesn't feel like fun to me so i'm not going to do it. it doesn't feel right in my gut so i'm not going to do it or i'm going to think about this and meditate and do some affirmations that for me I should change it from A to P for procrastination because that's what it is. I'm just going to call that out. If you are thinking that you need to go in a certain direction and you are going to trust your gut, you need to take action on that. Even if you take action and you fail, at least you've taken action because doing nothing is procrastinating. And if you, if you need change in your life in whatever area is needed, then you've got to take action on it. It's ridiculous not to. The next is L. Talk, T, A. So trust your gut, action, take it. L. Look into problems. Don't avoid them. Okay? Problems are going to come up. Barriers are going to come up. Great big honking issues are going to come up. Whether it's life or whether it's business. You know, in life, personal family and personal relationships are going to blow up from time to time in business you're going to get difficult clients difficult suppliers in work you're going to get difficult bosses um, you might have difficulties in your love relationships and you might be struggling to find out what's right for you in terms of self-expression right those problems are going to come up look into them and then try and resolve them because if you avoid them and decide that you're going to take a different route or a different direction because it doesn't feel good then again you're going into procrastination and avoidance and that gets you nowhere it's really important and then my k in talk is to kick ass really to kick, to know how to resolve conflict and kick ass all right, you've got to know how to resolve the issues and the conflicts that come up in your life because you can't hide under a rock somewhere and wait till they go away. Now, this is all coming from a place of knowledge because believe me, I did not turn my life around quickly. I did not change my life mindset quickly. I did not sort out my finances quickly. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do quickly in a minute. I'm gonna remove the dog from the living room quickly because he won't shut up. 
the desperation. <laughs> no, I, my life took 10 years to go from rock bottom to where it is today. I want you to know that things take time. There's a perception created out there at the moment on social media and in business that you can get rich quick, that you can change your life really quickly. You can learn what's taken me 10 years to learn in all these coaching methodology, methodologies, the diplomas, the qualifications that I've studied really hard for. You can learn that in six weeks. Did you know that? And at the end of it, you're going to become a multimillionaire. It's bullshit. It's absolute, absolute bullshit. It doesn't happen like that. It's going to take time. And anything worth investing in, and believe me, you are worth investing in, is going to take time. So talk, trust your gut, take action, look into problems and kick ass, resolve the conflict. But above all else, accept right now that you are not going to be really rich, have turned your life around. Yeah, you might be one of the lucky ones. You might do it in two years. You might be one of the real, real lucky ones and you might do it in six months. You might have just got that thing that hits off and takes off. But you've got kids leaving school now who think they become they can become multimillionaires by doing some stupid videos on YouTube. And it's a very, very, very small percentage of these young people that are actually successful in this area. Do you know what it takes? Do you know what it really, really takes to be successful, to have the abundance in your life, not only in wealth, but in love and in everything, every other area that I will always talk about. It takes hard work. It takes a good, strong strategy. But above all else, it takes hard work. I am here at 8 p.m. having worked all day and had a really busy couple of days filming and I'm still talking to you and sharing with you because it takes hard work to make your business work. It does not happen easily. Some things come quicker than others. Nothing is going to come easily. It, trust me, it just takes time. And if you can accept that, and if you can find a way, and last week I covered live within your means, if you can find a way to get in that nice even keel where you can afford to live, and you can afford to pay your bills, and you can afford to just be there, and as that grows to invest in you, you are your biggest asset. And it takes time for you to learn. Now, I'm a quick learner. Some people are not so quick at learning. And actually, I say I'm a quick learner. I need to know the nitty gritty and the ins and outs of things. I need to for me because when I'm talking to somebody about something, I have to know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I'm going to actually be the quiet one in the group. I know that's hard to believe, but I'm actually quite quiet. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I ain't going to speak. I'm going to keep my mouth shut because I won't open my mouth and say what I don't know. So this is why I'm saying it takes time, because in order to know something, to really know it in your heart and soul so that you can then pass that knowledge on to somebody else, you've got to become an expert in it. So I became an expert in all of those things that I've talked about so far. I became an expert in forgiveness and gratitude. I became an expert in working on my mindset or I'm going to reframe that yeah, using reframe and mindset there. I became an expert in managing my thoughts so that I could be more positive and hopeful and attract more positive things to me. Yeah, I became an expert in managing my finances so that I could live small on a small budget. I became an expert in studying the subjects that I then wanted to work with in the long term. That's what you've got to do. It doesn't happen quickly. Now, I said to you in previous weeks, I could probably have done that a hell of a lot quicker if I didn't, if I wasn't a single mum with two kids and one of them having autism and I didn't have two dogs to look after as well. Probably could have done everything a lot quicker. But you know what? My situation was what it was and it's taken me 10 years to get here. So if your journey starts today, accept that it's going to take you as long as it takes you and in order for you to get there, first of all, you need to not be carrying any grudges. 
You need to not be carrying any hatred with you, anything like that. That's got to go. There's your first point. Believing in yourself and how you describe yourself is your next point. And these are what I've covered in previous weeks. Getting your finances to a place where you can pay for all your bills and you know that you're okay and you're secure. Because as you're doing each one of those, you are releasing space in your brain to be able to come up with more creative thinking projects, with more opportunities. And that's when you can start saying yes to things, when the time is right and you've worked on you. I think my consistent theme throughout all of these lives so far is that you are your biggest asset. You are absolutely your biggest asset. And if you put the most time and the most money into developing you, you are going to get the most back in return. And I know it seems hard to understand. And that's where these buzzwords of self-care and things are coming in and confusing people because particularly women, and I'm talking to women, yeah, you think you've got to look fantastic. You've got to be a eyebrows done your eyelashes done your nails done every that's not self-care do you know what's more important to look like this but have spent some money in on yourself so at this point i'm going to share something with you that might actually shock you my coach that i am starting work with fully on a full 12 month basis in a few weeks time because all of us i i am launching my business i'm already you know an artist creative i've got an idea i'm building my website i've written my book but i am not perfect and we all need help i've paid eight thousand pounds to work with that coach for the next 12 months she is a business coach and she is going to help me to to take my business to a different level so i that's my self-investment I see that as money well spent. Do you think I could have done that 10 year, years ago? I couldn't. I couldn't invest eight pounds in myself initially. That took a couple of years. But when I could invest the eight pounds in myself, I did. I bought my first book. Yeah, and when I could invest 80 pounds in myself, I did. And I went on my first course. And that's how it evolves. Starts a little bit at a time saying, look, I'm important and I'm the person. I'm the creator of my life. I am the creator. I am the power. I am the one that is going to change things. And I am the one that is going to get in control of my thoughts and move them to a place of abundance and positivity. Thanks, Andrew. I've just seen your message there. So for me, trying to share this with you, I have a responsibility to just be really honest and I've shown up tonight not looking that great, feeling a bit crappy, told you that I had a whining dog in the background, told you that I've been working really, really hard the last two or three days. I'm absolutely exhausted and that's caused me pain. But that's the reality of life. I'm calling out the buzzwords that are on social media because some people are just riding on the waves of others and actually just be cautious. Check things out properly before you do anything. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're giving your money away to somebody who's not going to give great benefit to you as a person. And those are unscrupulous people that don't really care about who they are working with. And they are difficult to differentiate at the moment because they appear to know what they're talking about. But you know what the best tool you've got in your toolkit is? Ask questions, ask difficult questions, ask open questions. Yes, yeah, so where did you learn that? What is it that's the main thing that drives you? Why do you enjoy doing what you're doing? Yeah, how often do you do it? How long have you been studying for that subject? Ask some hard questions. And if anybody pauses for more than a, t a couple of seconds, I'm telling you now they don't know what they're talking about because those of us that have been there, I could answer anything anything immediately because this is coming from a place of experience i just want to see all of you and everybody that's joining me on a weekly basis get rid of their demons and their barriers remember to talk trust your gut to action take it look into the problems and then kick their ass deal with the conflict and for me that's a starting point 
be open to everything that comes up because you need to work on you you're your biggest asset be cautious of the people that are using what I see as buzzwords and buzz phrases at the moment and make sure they're using it from a place of knowledge and not from a place where they have taken it from somebody else. That's my message for this week. Each week has been different. And thank you all for joining me and thank you for your comments. I'm just gonna read Sarah's here until you get in their course and the empath. They say themselves as a hardcore bitch, one of my experiences. I, yeah, yeah, I get that Sarah. But I've worked with loads of people that within 20 minutes of being in the presence, I've known like I've made a big mistake but then you feel like such an idiot that you kind of go with it because you've paid for it. And actually, do you know what would be better? To just walk away and just say goodbye to the money and say, do you know what? That's not actually going to help me because I don't trust that person. And uh, authenticity and trust is really important. In whatever you're doing in life, with people, with family, with friends, in business, where, whatever you're doing, um, if you don't show up as yourself every day, Actually, that's a hard thing to keep up unless you're a complete narcissist, which there are a few of those out there, as we know. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Wonderful to see you all again. And next week, I am talking about planning for six months um, and how to really get to grips with what a good plan looks like that works for you because it's different for everybody and again i'll be breaking down some barriers there so join me then thank you for joining me tonight you are all amazing bye